the whole idea of artistic ability and artistic development is that you change it for the time do you know what I mean that you do move it with the time that you move it forward you move it ahead of time and that's what experimentation is it ain't about being morose and keeping it the same for like 200 years that's bollocks I think my earliest recollections of music is when we used to live in Turkey and my mum used to dance around and sing these songs. My dad had come in from work and he used to look like a Bollywood film. You know, he'd start joining singing the songs that my mum was singing and then my mum would get really annoyed because he was always singing off key. So she'd stop. So yeah, so I kind of had a, a, you know, inflection of, uh, you know, stuff in tune and out of tune. How do you get five-year-olds interested in, you know, Robin the Nuttables, poetry stuff, you know, musical stuff for a modern age, you know, how would you go back to the times when your parents used to use, you know, use song and stuff to communicate poetry, and that's not really happening very much now. <laughs> I bought a cassette machine for five pounds. Those little kind of ones that go yeah. like that, you know? And my dad used to have a really old, broken down um, turntable, which is the big lid job with the lever and red cover kind of vibe, you know, 60s kind of camp vibe going on, you know? And, uh, you know, it was either really loud or you couldn't hear it because it was just the way the whole thing was, you know. And um, so I used to mix with just cassettes and vinyl, you know, it started with Bengali classical stuff. I did a radio show for the first time in a long time, a local one. And for some strange reason, my father couldn't sleep and he turned the radio on and he heard me playing this music. And I didn't know at the time, but the following day I went to see him and I said to him, look, I've been in this music game for 10 years now as a professional. And maybe it's time for me to do something else. And I was quite shocked when he turned on and said, look, I heard your radio show last night. It was really good stuff. You know? And, you know, coming from a, a homeopathic doctor who for years and said to me, why have you got so many records? It was quite refreshing. Do you know what I mean? So, um, you know, it was quite nice. Nice to hear that. Kali, Kali, Kali.